guys this is the pika from mytutorialrack.com now in this tutorial we will see how to insert multiple records at a time and also if you want to insert records of different type using this insert call how are we going to do that so the first thing is we are going to create a new request and the method type is going to be post and then here we are going to use the same url and then let's go ahead and add the header so the first header I'm going to add would be the soap action. So that's going to be the header and it's going to be an empty string. And then the next one that I will be adding would be of the type content type. And this is going to be, sorry about that. It's going to be the content type. And this is going to be of the type text slash XML. This is going to be the content type. And then the body, I'm going to choose a raw XML here. Now let's go back here and in the previous tutorial, let me just go ahead and copy this whole thing and then paste it over here to save some time. So I'm going to create a new school object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, call this as school underscore underscore C and then I'm going to provide the fields for the school that I'm going to insert. So I'm going to insert a school record so first thing is let's go back and then try to get the fields the first field would be name so let's say the name of the school that I'm going to add is called Good Shepherd public school this is the first school and uh, this is the closing brace then the next thing is I also want to provide the fee for this school so I'm going to go ahead and select this field name and let's say the price or the fee for the school is about $200. So let's just go ahead and uh, keep it at 200. And then let's go ahead and close this fee underscore underscore C. Then the next thing that I will be doing is the school address. And so let's just go ahead and copy this field. And then I'm going to provide here school address. And let's say this school is in north carolina this is where the school is and uh, let's just go ahead and copy this and so school address is given and then the school phone number so let's go ahead and copy this school phone number as well and let me provide it over here this is the school phone number and let me give some number random number here 909 okay and then this is going to be the school form. So now what I've done here is I'm going to insert this new student record. Now let's say I want to insert more than one student record. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this thing multiple times. Let's say I'm going to insert three records here. And the second one is called as Sacred Heart Convent School. This is going to be the Sacred Heart Convent School. This is the school I studied in. And uh, the price was, let's say, $200, and this was in India. And let's say the phone number is 675432, and then 8888. This is the phone number. Let's say this one is another school that I'm going to add is Nazke Public School. This is going to be for 500 And this was also, let's say, it was in a place called Chapur, India. Okay, this is where the school was and then this is the phone number and that's it. So now we are trying to insert three records. Now let's say if you and I have set up this MRU value to false means it's not going to get updated under the recently list. So I will set it to true. So I wanted to get it uploaded over there and then make sure your session ID is correct. So I'm going to run this one one more time because it's been quite a while that I ran this. So here I'm going to copy my session ID. This is the new session ID that I've got. And then I'm going to copy this session ID over here. So I'm going to go ahead and replace it and then hit the send. So now you can see here the response came as 200, which is good. And then you can see the three new records have been added. And this is the three records that I have added here. Now, if I go back to my school, and if I refresh this page, you will see that three schools have been added. Good Shepherd Public School, McKinney High School, and Norsegate Public School. 
and uh, these are all the schools and all the information that I've added. Now let's say in the same request, let me go ahead and I'll first save this and I can say here insert multiple school records. Okay, this is the API name that I'm giving and then I'm going to save it. In this one, what we have done is we are trying to insert multiple records at a time. Now, let's say we want to insert multiple records and also of the different types. So if I want to insert two school records and then two student records, how will I do that? 